be at BDCon to get the full experience. That's what it is. That's what it is. It is 3.50 in the morning. I am in this empty airport in Philadelphia, headed to LA, starting the voyage. Don't mind this little mark right here, y'all. This was a pimple in the, big, in the middle of my forehead for like the last five days. And it finally went down. So now I just got a little baby scab that I'ma work with later, but that's better than having a bump literally in the center of my face. So we are on our way to BeautyCon. I'm gonna meet Madison in LA and then I just realized that the outfit that I packed because I packed like a week and a half ago because I've been in on the East Coast I was in DC for a family union then I was in Philly for the birth of my niece if you guys saw on Instagram I posted that she was born but she had a few complications so we've actually been in the hospital for the past I would say three to four days we came well she got to come home for like a day not even and then they readmitted her so that was a little scary not gonna lie but we prayed really hard and stuck together and luckily my mom and myself were there for my sister and her fiance so um, hopefully they get out tomorrow and um, Kaya is all good to go so if you guys haven't seen a picture of her I'll put a picture right here of my beautiful niece Kaya, Kaya Noel. She's just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. My first niece, my first, uh, the first baby of like my brothers and sisters and stuff. So it's really exciting and really special. And um, yeah, she's just an awesome little girl. She's a tough cookie, that's for sure. She had so many tests and stuff done in the hospital because she was a little underweight and then her temperature was low and a couple other things so um, but they got her taken care of she went to CHOP which is the uh, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia which is like one of the best in the country just so happened that my sister didn't live too far from there so um, they were able to get her my niece in there and taken care of so we had little Kai in the best of hands and so Things are on the up and up now though, so uh, so yeah, anyway, so it's a little, little been, been a little stressed though. Really um, nervous and scared, praying and lots of ups and downs emotionally in the last few days, so I'm just kind of mentally trying to prepare myself for this weekend as well. So, gotta get my mind right, gotta find my gate. I think I'm walking up on it now actually, and um, yeah, let's get BeautyCon pop. It's about to be crazy, y'all. It's gonna just be crazy. <laughs> we made it to LA, and Madison's here. Yay! <laughs> you guys always are like, bring your sisters back on the camera. Well, you have one right here. I brought her with me this weekend for BeautyCon, so it's gonna be some real deal sister bonding time even though we were just in DC together for the family reunion so literally but we're headed to Zara and H&M because like I said earlier which I kind of like went off on a tangent I, ha I the outfit that I planned to wear for day one of BeautyCon kind of didn't work out in my brain the way that it that I thought it would so I'm like now I gotta go find something really quick to wear so that is what we're doing now
gosh, I'm here with the amazing, incredible Yara. And this is just the speed. I know. They're on the main stage, right? Yeah. Yes. So what are you speaking about? We're just going to spit some dope rhymes and such. What? Is actually I'm our album here for it. Ceremony. Yeah, it's all yeah. about How finding not that inner beauty and self-confidence. Yeah. Like, I need the mixtape. Like, I need the mixtape. I know. We're just going to put what we say to it. Yeah. I can't do it live, so you're gonna have to hear it before. Oh, oh you yeah. see. Yeah. No, you, you, you have to be at BeautyCon to get the full experience. That's what it is. That's yeah. what it is. First ever day two of BeautyCon, which is kind of cool. Look, they have gender neutral bathrooms. I'm so down for that. So down for that. But yeah, I have to be at the Sally Beauty booth. Um, it's like 8.30 in the morning almost. It's probably like 8.20. I'm going to be doing like a hair demo thing with my girl Mo. Mo knows hair and Sally Beauty today. So that's why I came with no makeup. My hair's not done anything. Um, but yeah, so we're about to go do that and um, get day two kicked off. Girl, I'm not even recording. I, just, I was talking to y'all and it wasn't recorded. But I'm here with Mo. We were just on IG Live. She just did a wash and go for me and cut my ends. Um, so we used Biel Organics today. We used the Brazilian Curly Cocktail Mousse and the White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. So we're diffusing now. And I will show you guys the end result in a little while but we're at the sally beauty booth so this is what the booth looks like they're doing nails hair all that so i will show you guys the finished result i gotta get my makeup done still too so yeah So I gave her a haircut, 
where I just literally went through and got all of the split ends off, which she didn't have a lot, maybe like an inch or so. I didn't reshape her hair because her focus right now, she says, I want to grow my hair to, what did you call it? Obnoxiously long. So in order for her to do that, she needs to retain the length that she's growing. So getting her ends maintenance every few months is going to help that. So I just went through and cleaned her up on that. For her style, we used all my own organics products. Has anyone tried these products yet? Have you guys seen them? You're getting them in your bags today. You are going to love them. They are very well made, very hydrating, very easy to use. So I only had to use two things to get Jane's hair style. So we started with the leave-in conditioner. It's a spray-on leave-in. It has a nice milky texture to it. So you can really feel it sliding into the hair. It helps to tangle the hair. So we put a little bit of that on first. And then went in with the new Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. So curly mousses are really starting to show up on the scene because it's gonna give you a lot of volume in that curl but still allow your curl to show some definition. So this is hair that you usually, most curly girls know, you wouldn't get until a couple days after you've washed it because usually when you wash it and set it, it's gonna be really gripped up, it's gonna be very neat and you're gonna have to wait a couple days for that bigger, more volumized look. Mousse is gonna give you that from the beginning. It's very easy to refresh because when you re-wet it, it's going to allow you to reset it without making a mess and making your hair really sticky and frothy and gross. So that is why curl mousses are a very good option for those of you who love volume that you don't have to wait for. We actually let her hair set for maybe about 10 or 15 minutes and then went with a diffuser. I use the Ion Ceramic Blow Dryer with Diffuser that you get at Sally Beauty. It is an amazing diffuser. If you have never tried one on your textured hair, you are missing out. It is a great way to fluff that hair up and to dry it faster and to give you all of the style that you love. So Jane's hair is very, very bouncy, very, very defined, but still movable. You show the people it's movable, shake it around a little bit. Nice and lightweight. Angie, what do you think? Ball. Oh, duh. <laughs> Oh my god, I can do this for hours. Alright, well we're gonna do it for 30 minutes. <laughs> 